How are you doing today? First of all, I apologize for my dress. Those who know I'm a banker, I'm pretty much in a suit and tie Monday through Friday, so I'm sorry. I don't have that on today, but uh, anyway, I'm, I'm Eric Johnson. I'm running for Lowndes County School Board District 2. Um, a little partial District 2. Also, I went, my wife and I went to Hay Higher Middle right down the road. Um, I actually met my wife right down the road in eighth grade in Mr. Hutch's homeroom. Those of you who grew up down here know Mr. Hutch. Um, and also, my kids are both in the school system. I have a, a kindergartner, Janie, or excuse me, Eli, and my second grader, Janie. So I, you know, I've got kids in the system, and I've got young kids in the system, and they'll be there today, and they'll be here the next four years. And I think that's important. That, you know, when you're running for the school board, you know, not only will you have your board hat on, you'll have your parent hat. So when decisions are made these next four years, you know that they're going to be in the best interest of the kids, because obviously they're going to affect me personally, where I have second grader and kindergarten in the system so I think that's important you know, I, I'm, I'm running for the school board like, like Tara said you know whether you vote for me or Mark I mean I think they're all everyone's great they're gonna be a great candidate one of the reasons I want to do it is and I've always when I moved back here in 2009 my father was military he uh, retired here in 1991 so again we went to pay higher middle I went to Lowndes after graduated from Lowndes I went to the Citadel graduated from the Citadel and then we, my wife and I moved to Atlanta uh, we wanted to work up in corporate America and get the education experience from Atlanta. And I wanted to further educate myself, so I went to Georgia and got my MBA. And then once we started having kids, you know, we have pride in this town and this community, and we wanted to raise our kids down here. So we made the decision in 2009 to move back to Valosta and move back to Hay Howard so we can raise our kids down here. I think that's important to know because, you know, when, I, when we moved down here, we wanted to do something great, and I want to do something to give back to the community. When I was finishing up leadership miles in 2011, a very respected individual told me, guys, as future leaders of this community, you need to try to find something you're passionate about, something that wakes you, makes you excited every day. And don't just try to do two, three, four, five things and sit on multiple boards where you have less of an impact. And <coughs> that really resonated with me. And I, I thought, you know what? My goal is, is education. You know, I wouldn't be where I am today without education. Um, you know, I've, things I've done, obviously the Citadel, Georgia, and those are things to me that help build me to where I am today and give me the opportunities that I need to be where I am today at Guardian Bank. I, for the last five years, I've worked at Guardian Banks as a commercial bank officer. So I've worked with different businesses from different industries, analyzing financial statements and budgets, which I think will help me hit the ground running as a potential board member. But again, I wanted to get back. You know, education is something I, I've been passionate about. So whether I was running for the board or not, in 2011, uh, again, the Leadership Lounge, we helped build the first ever um, parent resource room at Clydeville Elementary and then in last year in 2013 I was able to put together the first ever teacher appreciation dinner uh, for the Lowndes County and the Boston City School System. Um, with the help of Alaska North Rotary Club we raised over $28,000 and that money was able to go right back into the school so we weren't just helping Lowndes County schools we are helping Boston City Schools and I think that's great because really what I want to do as potential board members I want to have a collaboration between the city schools, the county schools, and VSU, Wiregrass, and Moody Air Force Base. I think that's important because I believe in public and private partnerships. And if we can work together, we can do so much more. You know, it's not just well. I'll say I'm a proud Viking. You know, we, we've got to look out as a community as a whole. So if we can educate these kids, they can be the future leaders of this community. The the community as a whole will benefit because now you're educating these kids. They're going to be the future leaders. They're going to have higher paying jobs when, when industries are coming to Valos to look for play, for people to hire we're going to have that higher skilled workforce here in Valos so again education to me is just part of what makes me who I am it's important to me I, I wouldn't be where I am today without education you know I also went to Georgia I'm back in, back in school again I went back to Georgia for banking school and now I'm at LSU I got one of the selections over May 20th I, that weekend I got head back to Baton Rouge to finish up my uh, graduate banking school so I, I think it's important to continue to educate yourself, continue to learn and learn from other people and again to do work as a community and work together because I, I feel if we all work together we could do so much more versus hey we're the Vikings or we're well, lots of city schools and so I've, I've got some great ideas I'm trying to do. I work with both superintendents from both schools, the dean of VSU, work with Wiregrass and Moody so if we can try to work together as a team hopefully in the next two three years we can do something great. Um, so. Again, my name is Eric Johnson. If you have any questions, um, I'm sorry I won't be able to be here at the end of this reception. My parents and my family just came down from Atlanta. I hadn't seen them in a long time, so I want to spend time with them and my family. Uh, but if you'd like to get talk, uh, excuse me, if you'd like to get in contact with me, you can go to my website. It's ericjohnsonboe.com. 
um, or you can you know, you know you can shoot me an email and I'll, I'll be sure to respond that way. So again, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.